Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we have one more real-time requirement for you. So let me show you the requirement. So the requirement is copy attachment from one task to other task. So this is the scenario. We have a catalog item server shutdown. And in that catalog item, there is a, a task at the beginning, which is requirement gathering task. And we are attaching an Excel sheet to that task. And as this is the requirement gathering one, it should be shared with all the other tasks which are doing the respective job. Okay. So the Excel sheet of task one should be available for task two and task three. How we are doing it? Let me show you. So in this solution, we are using three basic things. Scratchpad variables, set new GUID that is how to get the sys ID of the task. And third one is out of box glide sys attachment class and the copy function of that class. How we are doing it? Let me show you in the demo section. So this is my catalog item. Just add a few things here. Click on order now. Open the RITM. At the bottom, there is a task which is gather information for server. Let me add the attachment here. Done. Now let me close the task. So ideally, this attachment should be available to the task which are coming next. So go to the bottom. You see two new tasks are here. Shutdown firewall and shutdown server. Okay, so let me open these two tasks. You see the attachment is already there. It means it is copied successfully. So how we are achieving this? We are doing this with the help of workflow. So this is the workflow. Okay, let me go to the task one here. In task one, we are using scratchpad variable. And using this variable, we are copying the CSID of this task. As you know, when we use scratchpad variable within the session, uh, this particular variable is available to other things as well. So I will use this sysid variables in the upcoming task. So in this, we have the sysid of task one. Okay, let me open task two. In task two, you see under source sysid, I am keeping the sysid of task one, which is coming from the scratchpad variable. Okay. And in this variable destination sysid, we are keeping the sysid of this task 2. Okay. One thing I forgot to tell you that currently I am working in a test app that is a scoped application. In case of scope application, this function will not work. What this function is doing, it is actually uh, setting the sysid of this task that is task 1. Okay. That's why I am using this task.insert. So just keep in mind. If you are in global, just use this function, okay? Task.set new GUID. Otherwise, in uh, uh, this application that is uh, scoped application, you have to use like this. So, this is how we have the sysid of source that is task 1 and destination that is task 2. And then finally, we are using the copy function of this out of box glide sys attachment class, okay? So here simply we have to provide source table and destination table as well as source sysid and destination sysid of the record. Okay. So here source table is SC task, right? And then source sysid we have from here that is sysid of task one, comma, and then again destination table that is again catalog task table, comma, sysid of the destination record where we want to copy the attachment that is task two sysid which is this one. Once we do this, the requirement will get fulfilled and the same we have replicated here in the task 3 as well because we want to copy the attachment in task 2 and task 3. Same thing. Okay. So I hope you understand the requirement. If you have any doubt, let us know in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.